You know, we've all heard the saying, you only have one chance to make a first impression, and you know that to be true. In the work that I do with witnesses and with attorneys, I know that there's even more to that. That your first impression really has a huge impact on whether you fail or succeed. It sets a foundation for a lot of things that are going to happen after that first impression. And that's because we are built as human beings to read each other. It's really built into our DNA. We make those decisions about each other in a nanosecond. It doesn't take any time at all. And it's actually before we even have a chance to think. The science behind this is that our brain is built to have more room for sensory processing than for thinking. Now you add to that that this sensory processing actually happens faster than thinking. And what happens is that you are making a powerful impression on people before they have a chance to even think about it. So the good news is that there are th things that you can do about and I'm going to talk about three of those right now. I'm going to give you some control over this. The first thing is that you want to stand and sit very tall. What this tells people is, I'm confident, I feel safe, I feel good about myself, and I feel good about where I am right now. The second thing you want to do is to give a good handshake. Um, etiquette people for the 21st century say that this is really very important in business. Good handshake is like this. Fingers perpendicular to the ground, your thumb is open, you slide your hand in, give it a good handshake. Some people that's one pump, some people that's two, some people that's three. Whatever you're comfortable with is just fine. What you don't want to do ever under any circumstances is to give one of those little small finger kind of princess handshakes. In body language, what that tells people is you can't commit. The third thing that I wanted to tell you about is eye contact. In the United States and Europe, the expectation is that you will make eye contact with people about 50 or 60 percent of the time. So what you want to tell people by making eye contact with them is, I'm paying attention to you. I'm listening to you. I care about what you say. I'm interested in what's going on. So by, help, by implementing these three, you can help yourself be more in control, be more powerful, and be more successful. This came from an article that I wrote for Attorney at Law magazine, and if you're interested in reading the entire article, just click on the link. Thanks.